Okay, this question's asked us to draw a perpendicular bisector at the line AB. Perpendicular means at a right angle, and the bisector is straight through the middle. So, a con to construct a perpendicular bisector, we take our compass and we put it firstly on point A. And then we extend it out just over halfway. Uh, we draw round along the top and the bottom. Then we switch it around and we put it on point B instead. So put it on the, the end of the line. I think that's close enough. And then we draw again. So we draw around again. And so we get two meeting points, two points of intersection. Then we know these two points are exactly equal distance away from A and B. So here and here. So all we have to do is get a ruler and join them up. So we're going to get the ruler and hopefully we're going to be able to draw a line down the ruler. I mean, I've missed slightly, unfortunately. Um, see if I can just move that along a little bit. Yep. <laughs> so there we've got a perpendicular bisector. So this line here is a perpendicular bisector of A and B. Okay, this question says bisect the angle at A. So bisect means cut it in half. So we need to cut the angle straight down the middle. So again, we take our compass and put it on A to start with. So what we do to start with is we just get two points equal distance from A. So we've got one there and then one there. So we've got two points at an equal distance away from A. So we've got one here and one here. Then we put our compass on the first one. So we'll use that one first and draw around. And then the second one. Oh no. <laughs> and draw around. Let's check I haven't changed the distance. Yep. So we find these two points and then we draw again from here and here and now we've got this point here which is straight down the middle so we just need to join that one up so we're gonna get our ruler and we're gonna join up those points so this point to A And there we go. We have, if I move the ruler away, you'll be able to see we've got this line here, which is bisected the angle at A. We've bisected it. We've done it. Construct a 60 degree angle at A. So to use it to do a 60 degree angle, we what we do is we actually construct an equilateral triangle. So we know an equilateral triangle has got. Um, 360 degree angles. So there we go. So we've got this same length here, and we're going to draw that one along the top, and then we go to this point here. It should hopefully be, and we go this point to the top. So what we've done. Well, if we join them up, so what we've done here is we've constructed this angle here is a 60 degree angle. So if I joined it up again here, I'll create two more 60 degree angles, but we only needed one. So there we've created a 60 degree angle at A.